presenting our use of Nintendo Wiimote for head tracking in a first person shooter game. Most computer games only get input from the player through traditional devices such as keyboards, gamepads and joysticks. By tracking the movement of the player's head, we gain an additional input mechanism for the game. We can now get an improved feel of 3D since the angle of which we view the screen affects the rendered image. It's more like looking through a window into a 3D world rather than looking at a flat screen. Commercial head tracking systems usually cost a lot of money, but as Johnny Lee showed in his videos, much of the same functionality can be achieved by using the Nintendo Wii mode, costing only 40 US dollars. To do the head tracking, we have constructed special glasses with infrared diodes emitting light that can be seen by the Wii mode. As you can see, the image on the screen changes to adapt to my viewpoint as I move my head. I can use this to look around corners, over ledges, crouch down to hide from enemy fire. Here's a demonstration of what it looks like from a gamer's point of view. To allow two players to play at once, one could use a traditional split screen, but we've opted for a more elegant solution. By using a stereo screen and emitting polarized light and polarized glasses, the two players are shown post light images. They may now play the same game at the same screen, unable to see each other's view. This is what it looks like when we see the both images overlaid, but by putting a filter in front of the camera, we get a clear image. This is one of the players, and by turning 90 degrees, we get the other player. And by switching back, we get the new player again. Here we see the other character's head moving according to the head movements of the other player. Thank you for watching the presentation. Hopefully you'll see this kind of technology in games in the near future.